So we are outside of Hurricane Utah at Gooseberry Mesa Yurts. This place is awesome. staying at the Gooseberry Mesa Yurt outside of Hurricane, right by Zion National Park, Rockville. I'm going to stop you right there. She's going to stop me right there. And I'm going to start it the way it should be starting. Okay, you start. So, this is Jerry's 25th birthday weekend. So we wanted to do something cool for it. We wanted to go to Zion and try some of the hikes we hadn't done. And thought that we would maybe try staying someplace different. And so, <laughs> Gooseberry Mesa Yurts. Yeah, we're in a yurt. Yeah. We're 20 minutes from Zion. These are on Gooseberry Mesa, right by Hurricane Utah. It's awesome. These things are amazing. They have four yurts. They're working on a fifth one. Each of the yurt has bunk beds and a futon couch, sleep six comfortably, but they say up to seven. So you have to bring your own bedding, sheets, blankets, pillows, that sort of thing. What else is in the yurt? It has a table with benches around the table. It has a cooking station. It has a wood burning stove, which is awesome for right now. Yeah, they have camp stoves for you to cook on. The wood burning stoves to heat the yurt. The uh, camp stove works off propane Bring your own propane. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some here when we got here, but one ran out. So we have a propane lantern. So we're going to replace that with one of our propane tanks. And then they had a bigger propane stove that you could actually use like a propane tank that you would put on your grill if you're going to stay here for a longer period of time. In the little cooking station, they have pots and pans. They have silverware, cups, bowls, plates, all that kind of stuff. Basic seasoning, so yep. it's sort of what you'd find at most rental places. Yeah. It, something special, you gotta bring your own just to be sure, but they have the basics here. Yeah, they had um, dish soap, paper towels, toilet paper. You should bring your own. I don't know if it's always stocked this way or if this was left over. Bring your own just in case. No water, no power. Also outside, they have a fire pit, which we are sitting next to right now, which is glorious. They had wood. They tell you to bring your own wood. If you don't, they have a really great supply and they just ask that you leave um, a donation basically for the wood that you use. There's no running water. Bring your own water. Mm -hmm. They do have a pit toilet that's out and away from the yurts that's shared by all four of them. Shower. They have a solar shower, but they, our yurt doesn't have a curtain for it. So None you, of the yurts had a curtain for it. Yeah, that one had a frame, but no curtain. Mm -hmm. So shower situation, you want a pop-up thing if you want some privacy. The yurts, <laughs> yeah, unless you're into that too. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's, <laughs> to each their own, you know. Each yurt has a view, and each view is a different view. Yeah, we'll put the views in here. Yeah. You can see from each one. Yeah, but they all have great views. I feel like uh, they're spaced well enough apart. Um, the first two are pretty close together, so if you had a group, you could rent both of those, and that would be awesome. They show it. They have a map on the website. I mean, obviously, there's plenty of information yeah, satellite on the website view. that shows how far apart they are, so you can pick which one you want from that. Obviously, it's close to Zion, but there's also trails right here on Gooseberry Mesa. I guess this is a big mountain biking area. Like, a world-class mountain biking destination. I don't know that it's so much a hiking area up on the Mesa, but driving up here, we passed Bunch. many, yeah, trucks yeah. with mountain bikes. They're, even here at the yurts, they have racks for your mountain bike, so, yeah. Yeah, plenty of, plenty of that. You can just leave right from your yurt. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as location to Zion, you come into 389, the roads are fine from that direction for any vehicles. There's a shortcut you can go to Rockville if you want to go to Zion that makes that, if you have to go around through Hurricane, it's like an hour drive. If you take the shortcut, it takes, I don't know, 30 minutes off of it, 20? 20, 20, 
20 to 30. Yeah, show the road here, you do need a four wheel drive. Both times we've been on that road with sedans, they didn't make it. You don't have to have lifted, but you need like an SUV. If you have just a sedan, then you just take the back way mm -hmm. to get to Zion and it takes you an hour. So there's no cleaning service. You're supposed to clean the yurt yourself when you leave. Ours was spotless when we got it here. Was, We're gonna yeah. leave it that way when we go. That's kind of nice because a lot of these places have big cleaning fees. So there's no cleaning fee yeah. whatsoever. There's a hundred dollar deposit or something. Yes. Damage deposit, but no cleaning fee, which is good. Along those lines, you have to take your trash with you. Bring extra trash bags. No pets. That's just the rule they have here. So if you do have a pet that you want to bring, this isn't going to work for you, obviously. Prices are reasonable. Midweek, and these are 2020 prices as of right now. Obviously check the website for the current rates, but it's 125 Sunday through Thursday and Friday and Saturday are 150. Also plus tax added onto that. Honestly, for how awesome these accommodations are, yeah. I feel like that's money well spent. Especially in this area too, I mean, yeah. it's expensive. Yes. But anyway, we're losing light. Gooseberry Mesa Yurts, this is night two. It's awesome, we love these places. It, Highly we, recommend this. Yes, we're gonna be back to Zion, and when we do, this yes. is where we're gonna stay. Absolutely. Yeah. Whoever owns these, great work, we love it. And that's a wrap, because it is. Dark. Getting dark. <laughs> yep. Are we starting? Um, we're gonna talk about what it is, where it is. And apparently I wrote, they rock. <laughs> <laughs> May I had a couple of beers mm -hmm. preparing for this. Stay up in one of these yurts with your friends, family, or you're probably out here trying to get away from family. <laughs> yeah, whatever. whoever, your loved ones, hang out with people. I probably shouldn't say that. So you should will, you need to will, cut that out. Will. So they have four yurts that are already open. I think they're building it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Plenty of stuff to do right from your yurt. Right from your yurt. <laughs> right from your yurt. Right from the yurt. On the yurt. <laughs> <laughs> they're idiots. I think that's a better introduction. I wanted to give you some cred because it's your birthday. I didn't get to say the <laughs> rock though. Well, now you should say it. <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of fun outtakes for this Yes, one too. I think so. <laughs> <clears throat> By yeah. the way, they rock. <laughs>